Down the stretch of the regular season, we come as we stadium in Las Vegas, and defense is must be prepares to shine in the national spotlight. Khalil Mack as the Chargers face the Raiders. I'm with you. So the Super Bowl is going to be played. The Chargers had a good chance to play it, but their season's unraveled. They're five and eight, as you just saw. They've lost. Their good evening, captains. Justin Welcome to Herbert tonight's game. For the rest of the Here's season, the so one Easton NFL Stick, who's been with the team for five years but has barely played, and we've seen some backup quarterbacks have great performances this year. You covered him a couple of times in college. Yeah. What do we expect to see? Well, I, I, I'm glad you bring up the five-year thing because it's not just a rookie making his first start. He's been around this team. They believe in him. The work that he's put in as a scout team quarterback, and I think he's improved as a passer. He's known as an athlete. That's what he was known at college when he won back-to-back -back national championships at the FCS level. He's going to have to use his legs tonight against Max Crosby in this defense. Much like the Chargers, the Raiders, a big disappointment this year. Five wins, eight losses. Midway through the season, they fire their head coach their GM and their offensive coordinator in one fell swoop yeah. on Sunday in this stadium they lose three nothing to the Minnesota Vikings now what great question they, they, they uh, not only were they shut out embarrassed humiliated they, they haven't scored a touchdown in 19 offensive possessions and now Josh Jacobs they're starting running back is out they're reshuffling the offensive line so it's a lot of pressure on this offense if they have a shot at winning this game it's going to be the defense and Max Crosby giving their own offense a short field. We're in Sin City. These teams have committed more than their fair share. If anything happens, it's the Raiders in the church. Back for Khalil Mack. Smoke. Put on Antonio Gates. End of the end zone. Madden was coming the end of the game. John Madden goes on the shoulders of his. Deacon, different starter this season. That is Easton Stick. His last start came in January 2019 when he led North Dakota State to a second straight FCS National Championship. Then, the Chargers drafted the winningest quarterback in FCS history with a fifth round pick in the 2019 draft. So on Sunday, when Justin Herbert broke a finger on his throwing hand and Stick stepped in, Brandon Staley told us he saw a look in his team's eyes. They had full confidence in Stick. That's because they say he's been building it through these five years running the scout team going up against the Chargers first team defense. Austin Eckler told me he calls him Dr. Stick because he says Stick gets surgical in practice with his ball placement, making superstar throws. Now we'll see if he can do it on the primetime stage tonight, Al. Kaylee, his moment has finally arrived, and there's Justin Herbert, who's been an Iron Man since he was drafted back in 2020, but he'll miss the rest of the season. Broken finger. There are the standings in the AFC West. Chiefs are on top, but just barely now. Broncos red hot. Chargers and Raiders are each five and eight. Raiders won the toss. They will defer charges to receive Darius and to put it in the air and away we go Davis out of TCU and it, he slept on a couch in Wentz's basement and then Trey Lance showed up as stick was leaving. So North Dakota State with a lot of success in the subdivision. Eckler is the running back. He gets it. Looks for room, picks up about five. Divine Diablo in on the tackle. It'll be second down. Let's call it six. Good thing tonight for the Chargers. It's been a, a difficult part of the entire year is running the football. And, and a lot of people have looked at Austin Eckler and what, what's wrong with him. He, you know, he led the NFL in rushing last year. And a lot of it's been the offensive line. And, and, and you could really specifically look out on the edges at the tight ends. They've got to be able to do a better job tonight being able to run the football take some of the pressure off the of stick stick sets it up here hits Eckler and Eckler will take it up to the 38 yard line setting up a third down and short. you're going to see that man in your frame a lot tonight Max Crosby number 98 and this is what we I think all of us as football fans love about him watch him at the top and, and watch the effort recognition of a screen balls out and look in his eyes and then look at the closing speed never takes a playoff whether it's the run or the pass rushing a quarterback he does it all third and three over the middle incomplete trying to get it there to Gerald Everett you got Marcus Epps covering on the play and so the Chargers begin with a three and out as you look at Antonio Pierce who's the 
interim head coach took over when Josh McDaniels got fired halfway through the season won his first two games but has lost his last three yeah, he talked about this week with us you know they're obviously embarrassed and disappointed but he said you know these guys are pros if you come out to our practice our best players are our hardest workers and it's really helped get through some of these these bumpy moments that they've had throughout this season J.K. Scott into punt DeAndre Carter back to receive standing inside his own 15 yard line. Fair catch called for. And then there's contact, there's a flag, and another flag. So running into him was Jasir Taylor. So Taylor not giving him the opportunity to make the fair catch, and that'll cost him. Ronald Torbert is the referee tonight. Fair catch interference by the kicking team, number 36. 15 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Las Vegas' ball, first and 10. So the Raiders now, and here is Aiden O'Connell. This has to be a bit of a nightmare for him. He started against the Chargers in L.A. week four. What happened? He got sacked seven times in the game, six times by that man, Khalil Mack. This is a nightmare. What are the odds? Of, you know, his first start is against Khalil Mack, and it's six sacks, and here we are again. And they're minus Josh Jacobs, their lead running back. He is out tonight. They start here with a run to the 40-yard line. Zamir White. And he'll be the main guy, second-year guy out of Georgia, picked in the fourth round last year. Yeah, he gets downhill. He's very different style back than Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs obviously has some shakes, side-to-side jump cuts. What you'll see with Zamir White, who was nicknamed Seuss when he was in college at Georgia, is he is a downhill runner. One cut and get north and south. You saw that there on his first carry, and a great block up front there by Jacob Johnson, lead fullback. Connell, deep drop, deep throw, going deep downfield, and that's incomplete. Coverage is there. Michael Davis covering on the play, intended for Trey Tucker, the speedy rookie out of Cincinnati. It'll be third down and two. Well, I think they felt they had some opportunities with, with the speed of Tucker to get one-on-one -on -one against Davis, and they thought they'd go into it early, and he wins at the line of scrimmage. If the ball's thrown down in front of him, he's got a chance to put a big play up on the board, but the ball brings him back, and Davis catches a break. They went three by one, three receivers to the field, one back to the boundary, created that one-on-one -on -one matchup. They just missed a big opportunity there. On third down and two, on the ground. And picking up the initial first down of the game, keeping those legs moving up to the 46-yard line. Well, I think, you know, without Jacobs, that's a big loss. This time it's Amir Abdullah carrying. So he and White will carry the load tonight on the ground. And, of course, Abdullah really known for his ability to catch the ball to the backfield tonight. He's going to be asked to have to carry the rock. Normally a third down back stays in there right now, first down. Connell to the outside, and that is broken up. That's Asante Samuel breaking it up, intended for Devontae Adams. And for Adams, of course, he came here last year, wanted to reunite with Derek Carr. That lasted one year, and it's been a tough season for him right now. Yeah, sure has. He, he's been frustrated at times for, for obvious reasons. Here is just really good coverage by Samuel. You like